alarming new report from the CDC today. One in five women saying they experienced mistreatment while getting pregnancy care. So here with some insight is Dr. Todd Allen, the Vice Chair of Department of Medicine and South Shore Health. It's great to see you, Dr. T, as always. The report Thank isn't, it, and now let's be clear, right? I mean, if I'm wrong, stop me. The, the, the report's not talking about misdiagnosis. It's talking about mistreatment, discrimination. In, in, I'm sorry, in 2023? Every mother deserves to be treated with dignity and respect. Maternal care is a central component of universal health care. This report from the CDC, it was a survey. It said that specifically pregnant women of color and those that lacked insurance or had public insurance were more likely to have no response for requests for help, more likely to be feel like they were scolded, not having physical privacy and being threatened to withhold treatment. Also, that they were more likely to have been threatened to, to hold back when, when, when they're asked specific questions. So really, this is an issue that we have to address. It's so upsetting. And so and nearly half, Dr. Ellerin, 45 percent of these women said their experiences made them hold back from asking questions or discussing concerns with their provider. Uh, just explain how dangerous that could be. Well, first of all, Erica, what I want to say is our chief of OBGYN here, Dr. Kim Dever, she's been here for over 15 years. She says that she, there's a famous saying that she says that delay or deny and pregnant women may die. And that's important if they're less likely to get prenatal care, if they're if they're afraid to say that there's a problem because they're concerned about their interactions with healthcare or their their may be a problem if they're bleeding and there's a delay in getting these women the help that they get they can die and here's an important fact the united states has the number one maternal mortality rate for industrialized countries in the world that is a problem it has to be addressed wow um okay and so so you've you've already mentioned it but it bears repeating the findings were much more pronounced among women of color so and we've also heard that group also has a much higher maternal death rate and and you were talking about that very same thing so what does the cdc say about reversing this trend i mean we the the, the, the conversation the action has to go in that direction Wanda Barfield, who's the CDC head of the Division of Reproductive Health, and I'm going to quote her. She says, we know that racism and discrimination can lead to delays in treatment and sometimes tragic and preventable deaths. Healthcare provider trainings on unconscious bias and culturally appropriate care may be a first step in understanding how to provide respectful maternity care to all women. What the CDC focuses on, improved access to health care, address those socioeconomic inequalities, promoting evidence-based care for all, and very importantly, ensuring culturally competent and unbiased mm -hmm. health care services. Mm -hmm. Eddie, this is an ongoing public health challenge. Boy, it's an eye-opening conversation, mm -hmm. Dr. Teets. Great to see you. Thanks for your time. You too. Yeah, thank you, Doctor. Always good to see you. And to our viewers, if you have questions that you'd like our experts to answer, email them to ask at wcvb.com.